Well, things are going really well here at Rangers so far. I definitely think we've made the right decision. Uh, we've got a run of home games coming up, and if all goes well in them ones, we could well be second in the league. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2019, I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part 2 of Season 8 of The Journeyman with Rangers and in today's episode we take on Kilmarnock in the league, our first home game um, as manager I think, although was it at home that we played Celtic? It was, so I tell a lie. But uh, since you were last with us, things have went well. We beat Hamilton 3-1 in the league. Really good result there. Um, Morelos um, had a go on the edge. And uh, Kelly on the score sheet there. We then beat Motherwell 1-0 away from home. Good result there with uh, Morelos scoring. And then we beat Brecon 5-0 in the Scottish Cup fourth round. Morelos getting a couple. Shiv Shivarella um, with a goal. Leo Liam Kelly and Oscar Gill also getting the goals there. So... Let's have a little look at the team for today. Um, although before that, let's have a look at the the, the, the Premiership table. We're currently in fourth place with uh, 40 points after 24 games. We're seven points behind second-placed Hearts. That's where we need to be getting uh, because if we can get into that those Champions League places, you know we're going to get some extra money um, coming into the club, and hopefully we can ref refresh the squad in the summer, which I think is going to be the most important thing for us going forward so yeah let's have a little look at the team for today we haven't made any signings yet this window because um if we have a little look uh we're actually well over the wage budget and we've got no money to spend so um just a case of sort of keeping the squad together for me now until the end of the season we can offload some of these loan players and stuff like that, and then uh, we can evaluate uh, where we are as a, a football club then. So, the team today, we've got Sluga in goal, we've got uh, Heide Gonyaj at <laughs> right back, we've then got Marabinos and Romalo in uh, central defence, with Dodds on the left-hand side. We've then got Kelly, uh, A. Pawson and Shirivella uh, in midfield, with Billy Stevenson starting behind Gallagher and Morelos up top. So... Let's get into it. It should be a winnable game today, you would suggest, uh, against Kilmarnock, especially since we've we've won our last three. I think we're unbeaten in seven or something like that in all competitions, which is, is great, you know. To, hopefully we can keep that sort of form going. And, um, you know, it will end at some point. But, uh, uh, you know, the more points we can get on the board... Um, the better, really. You know, Kil Kilmarnock are a good side, but... Uh, you know, I think we should be aiming to be the second best team in the league this season. Kilmarnock down in ninth place on 24 points. So this is definitely a winnable game, in my opinion, and, and, and that is exactly how we're going to play it. We're going to be at attacking and and, uh, and hope to, to certainly uh, get some goals uh, past their goalkeeper today. And we'll see if we win. Here's Dodds on the left-hand side. A. Pawson now. Pawson to Shiravella. Dodds again into the middle. Wallace away. But here's Liam Kelly forward to Gallagher. And Kelly again. Here to Goyage. Into the middle. Morelos is there. It's Shiravella. Oh, what a save. I don't know how that hasn't got in. <laughs> we had about three or four really good chances there. None of them went in. Kelly into the middle now. Gallagher's there. And it's a free kick. But uh, a positive start, at least for us. Getting some chances uh, on the board, and you can see already that we are completely dominating the play so far. Celtic winning again, unfortunately. It looks like they may well... Uh, that's going to be a red card, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> shiravella has gone. Uh, so, but we can bring Billy Stevenson back into the midfield. You know, he can play there. Um... But yeah, it looks like Celtic might go unbeaten the whole season, which is absolutely crazy. 
Um, there's not that much longer to go in the season. Here's A. Pawson. Now Stevenson sprays it out wide ahead of Josh in the middle. Stevenson. Now Stevenson again. Gets it forward. Dodds wide. We feel like now we're down to 10 men. Those are the chances we really, really have to be taking. But, uh, well, it's not quite happening yet. Here's Dodds. Dodds on the ball. Romalo. Romalo forward at A. Pawson now. Romalo again. Stevenson. Stevenson boots it forward. What a ball that is towards Morelos now. Oh, what a save. Once again, what a save that is. <clears throat> Here's Kelly now. Into the middle. Gallagher. Oh, just wide. Honestly. But this is the sort of football we've been playing. Really strong, fast flowing attacking football. Getting plenty of chances. And, uh, you know, we will be looking to continue to play like that for the rest of the season which you know I think we're capable of I think we are a very good side I think that we we, we can make some improvements um, but you know for the most part I think we can beat any team on the day you know I think we showed that in the last episode playing against uh, Celtic you know we could have quite easily won that game we held them to only their fifth draw of the season so you know, I think we are capable, and uh, and hopefully we'll show that. Uh, 60 minutes gone now. Uh, Sam Gallagher not having the best of games, so we're going to bring on Sam Taylor. Um, still struggling uh, for depth in this squad. We'll bring Oscar Gill, off, Gill on for Mavropanos. Um Just because he scored in the last game, you know, he might, might bring that little bit of extra confidence to the side. Would be disappointing if we didn't win this match, especially with how much we dominated it. Um, let's go very attacking for this last 20 minutes or so. Come on, show some passion out there, boys. Let's do this. 10 minutes to go. Come on. We can't be having a ball draw. Well, just doesn't look like anything's going to happen, unfortunately. Well, absolutely crazy, crazy that this this match has has turned out the way it has, and and it's nil nil. And you know, in the end, you'd have to say that is a bit of a disappointing match um, for us. We had plenty of chances, didn't take them. We had the sending off, of course, um, which is always going to be a problem. But those are the the sort of matches we need to be winning. If we have any hope of finishing second this season, you know, that's two points dropped today. And uh, we're going to have to push on in the rest of the season if we're going to do anything. But if you have enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. Sorry there was only one match in today's video. I Honestly, recording this the night before. Coming from a long day. Don't really want to be doing another match. I'm sure you guys appreciate that once in a while. So just the one match today. But hopefully normal service will be resumed on Friday. Subscribe to the channel for more uh, Football Manager content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.